Hi, welcome to a video from Equator.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can evaluate integral and derivative and also do the summation for this Casio calculator FX991EX, which is called a class width. Now, uh, let's have a look here. We will evaluate an integral and also we will, for integral, remember, we will do a uh, integral with a bound so from from something to something which is called the definite integral so the calculation the result of a calculation will be a number so this calculator cannot solve integral as an uh, integral of a, va of a function so it will evaluate and also for the derivative we also this will not take the derivative of this uh, but it will take the derivative and evaluate it at some value, let's say here, x equals something. So it takes the derivative and plugs in the x value that you give. And also for the summation, which will be a number. In all three cases, the result will be a number. So now let's give you an example. Let's say I have here a uh, an integral of uh, 5x cubed plus 2x squared dx from 2 to 3. So this function, what, we, what it does is it takes the integral and then for the result, it plugs in these two values, the two bounds from 2 to 3, it will evaluate it. So my calculator is on. Make sure your calculator is in uh, a normal calculation. If not, press mode and 1. So automatically it will be in normal calculation. For integral, I'm pressing this button here and then to enter this function, 5x cubed, press 5. For x, I'm pressing this button, easy. Although I can press alpha and then red x, but this is for easy access, 5x. And then to the power 3, this button is for power of anything. Now the blank area is there. Press 3 with the right arrow, move to the right, 2 and then x. Again for a square, we have a button directly. 5x squared, sorry, I forgot to press plus. So that is plus. Now, when you reach to the end, move right. As soon as you move right, it will go to the bound. So now I'm entering 2. Uh, and then move it to the right. The bound moves up. So 3. Now the function on the screen looks exactly like the textbook, which is the beauty of this calculator. So I'm just pressing equal. And the answer is... Uh, this fraction, if you don't like the fraction, press SD button, so you get 93.9166. So that was evaluating integral with a regular function. Let's say you have a function of cosine of theta, d theta. Sorry for the d, the computer just changed it to capital D. It's supposed to be small d. So cosine of theta from pi over 6 to pi over 2. So uh, remember... This, in this case, the value of angle must be in radian if you want to do a radian calculation. So now again, press this button. The screen will be cleared. Now press, uh, now press cosine and then cosine of theta. This calculator doesn't have theta. We will use x, close the parenthesis and then move arrow to the right. So it will come to the lower bound. Now pi over 6. For pi, I'm pressing shift and then this button. So pi, pi is on the screen, press this over button, and then 6. So pi over 6. Now move to the right, again right, it goes to the upper bound. Shift, pi, and then this fraction, and then over 2. So exactly like a textbook, and then equal. So then answer is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 if you like to view it that way. Okay, okay so now let's do the derivative calculation of this. Uh, let's say we have minus 5x to the power 4 plus 2x. And the question would be to evaluate uh, the derivative of this function at x equal 4. So sometimes in physics and some other courses you will have a, a function of a... Um, velocity or acceleration and then they will ask you to to find the position or speed at five seconds or two seconds or some number so you can do it very easily so this function in this calculator 
takes the derivative and when it takes the derivative after that substitute <coughs> x equal 4 and then does it so let's do that press shift and then this integral will with the shift become derivative so minus 5 and then for the x press this button and then to the power 4 press this power and then 4 and then with the right arrow move so it's coming down plus 2n x and then now with the arrow go to this side and then 4 automatically so that the derivative has been taken and then 4 have been the equation the result of this equation have been evaluated with 4 x equal 4 okay so now let's go for the summation all clear pressing AC for the summation press shift with this X button now uh, let's look at this uh, function okay the function here is cosine of X plus X to the power 3 and then uh, from 8 to 12 so that is the value of substituting this is cosine of 8 remember the radian and degree is important you should have the right value if this is radian uh, it's just a arbitrary number I just put it to show you an example so x will be 8 8 and then calculate it and then add it with x equal 9 10 11 up to 12 so now cosine of uh, x close this parenthesis because the this parenthesis is for the first one and then plus x to the power this is to the power 3 and then move to the right arrow and it's, uh, it's here one more time it goes to the lower bound which is 8 and then move to the right it goes up put 12 equal and that is the value okay thank you very much guys if you like this video please thumb up and also please subscribe to my channel thank you